Ten years ago, Japan was struck by one of the most powerful earthquakes in recorded history, triggering a devastating tsunami and a nuclear crisis. On this somber day, I join all Americans in expressing solidarity with the people of Japan and remembering the victims of the triple disaster. Today, I would like to share the following messages from several special friends of Japan. As the American ambassador in Japan during March 11th, it was the honor of my life to be part of Operation Tomodachi, the largest bilateral humanitarian operation in U.S. history, and later to help launch the Tomodachi Initiative. I was proud that the United States was there to support the people of Japan in its time of need and to work side by side with the courageous women and men of the Japanese Self-Defense Forces in their rescue operations. The memory of March 11th will always remain in our hearts and minds, and America stands unwavering in our commitment to come to Japan's aid should the need arise. The warm personal connections between Japanese and Americans are what make our country's friendship so unique. I've watched those bonds grow ever stronger during the past decade. In 2015, I was proud to be present to witness the return of two Kasagi from the shores of Oregon to Aomori Prefecture. It came about thanks to the support and goodwill of many people. And I'm pleased that public-private partnerships like the Tomodachi Initiative are continuing to nurture the next generation of leaders who will work to keep our alliance one of the most essential in the world. As we commemorate this solemn anniversary, I'm certain that the tradition of cooperation that arose from that day will continue to flourish. I applaud the people of Tohoku for their remarkable resilience and the tremendous progress they've made toward rebuilding. I also applaud the efforts and the leadership of Ambassador Roos and Ambassador Kennedy, who have both done so much to strengthen our alliance through this process. It's been truly inspirational to witness the many relationships that have formed in the wake of unimaginable hardship. Ten years after the disaster, we can be proud of the work that so many Japanese and American businesses and organizations have done to strengthen our exchanges and our economic ties, and to invest in our mutual prosperity for many years to come. In 2011, then Vice President Biden was the highest ranking U.S. official to meet with residents in the disaster affected areas. Now as president, he has reaffirmed America's steadfast commitment to our enduring partnership. On this day of remembrance and mourning, we pledge to honor the memory of those who were lost, support the ongoing recovery of Tohoku, and continue to build on this most important of alliances. Ishoni, 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 ishoni.